Bobtail searching for SA's next top dog. Get the unique code on pack and send in a picture of your best friend. Welcome back. This is your Feel Good Morning Expresso only on SABC3. Now, we love helping you guys to take care of your pets this morning. And this morning, we have Jimmy Simmons from CityVet joining us. He's a holistic vet believing in the alternative ways of treating and healing our animals. And this morning, we are actually talking about acupuncture. Dr. Jimmy, this is very, very interesting. So if you guys have any questions regarding holistic treatment for your pets or even acupuncture, phone us. The lines are open right now, 0839133728. Jimmy, welcome, uh, welcome to Expresso. Now, I was a little bit like, you know, I don't know what to make of it when you said acupuncture because we as humans, we're used to acupuncture, but for dogs, it's not that common. No, it's not common. It's still not part of uh, veterinary training at all, so it's something that most vets would train after they've qualified. And um, there has been a course running in South Africa uh, very recently, so there are a, a handful of vets that have got the training, but it's still a, a surprised look on most owners' faces when you offer that as a treatment option. So does it work on the same principles, though, as, as you know, the acupuncture we know? Yes. Well, we don't really understand yet whether for human or animals how exactly acupuncture works, but the evidence does suggest that especially for chronic pain, uh, back pain, painful joints, arthritis, Mm. that there is a benefit uh, both to animals and to humans. Mm. And certainly in my practice, using acupuncture, and I integrate it, it's not an alternative. So we'll use the best of both worlds. We'll use painkillers if they're indicated, but often to reduce the level of painkillers or for the owners that have had acupuncture themselves and they've mm. had good benefit, then they'll even request it uh, as a first line of treatment for, for pain especially. Mm. <laughs> now you've mentioned a couple of conditions there that acupuncture is good for, arthritis, back pain, that kind of thing. Yes. Are those the most common type of conditions that acupuncture will work for or, or is it quite a range of conditions? There is a very wide range of conditions but in most people's hands, most veterinarians' hands, it will be chronic pain and also muscle spasm. But it can, because it works through the nervous system, it can be used to uh, manipulate uh, nervous disorders of a variety of kinds, like for instance some digestive disorders are nervous related and then the acupuncture can benefit that sort of problem too. Yeah. <clears throat> now does it, does it hurt at all for a dog? I mean let's say a dog, I mean they don't understand really what is going on. Yeah. What if you have a very energetic dog that you would like to treat with acupuncture? I mean how do you even <clears throat> go about that? Over time you get experienced about how to approach individual dogs. Um, you definitely don't want to be doing acupuncture without gaining the animal's trust and getting them to relax. If they're the kind of dog that is very tense and very vigilant and worried about being hurt, then acupuncture is going to be um, mm. not going to be a good therapy to try. Um, but most dogs, if you take your time, and the consultations are much longer for acupuncture, it's not just a 10 minute in and out, and mm. you get them to relax, the actual acupuncture itself is not painful. Mm. The needles are very, very thin, very sharp, and if you can get them to relax, maybe give them a bit of a distraction with a treat or something, there's usually no problem at all. So they wouldn't, wouldn't even feel it going in? Most of them won't feel it. And I mean, what about cats? I mean, can, can cats have acupuncture as well? Yes, in fact, cats and birds have done uh, acupuncture birds. on birds. Cats respond much more quickly than uh, dogs do. In other words, fewer treatments to get yeah. the same response. Uh, horses as well, they're very commonly acupunctured. Wow, so how many treatments generally needed for, you know, one of your most common conditions? Well, let's say in a dog with, a, with hip dysplasia or arthritis in the hips, you would, I would usually ask the owner to commit to three to four treatments, and they're usually spaced a week apart. Mm -hmm. And then within the third or the fourth treatment, you're seeing a very dramatic improvement in the dog's uh, mobility and their general way of being, indicating the relief of pain. Mm -hmm. And then the, the, the uh, behaviors that used to be there, you know, two or three years previously before the onset of the uh, arthritis, they start returning. So, so it is really effective, I mean, acupuncture for animals? No, it's definitely effective. It just, it, what it does require is um, a good choice of the, of the right patient. And yeah. then, uh, as I say, it's integrated approach that we advocate. So it's not an either or. And there's some, you don't yeah. want to have an animal going through acupuncture when clearly it needs surgery, for instance. Exactly. So how can people contact you in terms of, you know, getting treatment, holistic treatment for their pets? The, con the contact details are on your website, I believe. And uh, the company I work through is called Happiness Is. Happiness is. Yes. Fantastic. Jimmy, thank you so much thank for joining you. us this morning. And uh, yeah, for the great work you do. I really appreciate it. You're welcome. Awesome. Thank so you. go check out our website, expressoshow.com, for all the details on, on Jimmy and how you can get your pet treated the holistic way. But right now, don't forget, Bobtail is looking for South Africa's next top dog, and it could be yours. Check us out. Bobtail searching for SA's next top dog to be the face of the brand. Up for grabs are a starring role for your dog in Bobtail's next billboard campaign, a live interview with you and your dog on Espresso, plus a two-night stay at the 12 Apostles Hotel and Spa for the winner and their winning dog. 
to enter, simply upload a picture of your dog doing something amazing onto Bobtail's website and enter the unique code found on promotional Bobtail packs. Like their page on Facebook to follow the competition. Also stay tuned to Espresso for weekly sneak peeks at the entries and help Bobtail choose SA's top dog. Bobtail for strong South African dogs. Stay with Espresso and SABC3.